Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hi, I'm Lisa Ackberry, your hair doctor, and I'm really excited about this morning because it's really, um, I'm going to get into some questions, and it's really a good time for me to just, whoo, just exhale and, and just really talk to you about your hair, and the reason I'm saying all this is because we haven't, we're kind of between books. We just finished the Black Woman's Guide to Beautiful Hair. Ooh, it was so great. And um, thank you guys so much for the emails. I enjoyed reading it. I enjoyed giving the commentary. And and now we're going into Every Woman's Guide to Beautiful Hair. And so I wanted to use the next, like I said, couple of weeks to try to get in as many questions as I can. And then we're going to get into the book. And I know some of you have already said you're excited about getting into it. Make sure if you don't already have every woman's guide to beautiful hair at any age you can go on my website at lisaackberry.com or you can just go Barnes & Noble you can even check it out at the library which will you know keep you from purchasing it but it's really a good uh, reference book so you'll you'll enjoy it but I want to get to some of your questions um let's see first is a comment it says thanks for your input it says, yes, I have gotten contradictory, contradictory it's a little tight time this morning, answers as well, particularly regarding castor oil. Um, that is why I want to know from the hair doctor herself. And then it said, hello, I am not the doctor. I've heard penetrating oils are coconut and olive oil. Oh, this is, okay, oh, two different people. All right, well, I'm just going to kind of go on into these three questions or four, so I think they're all about oils and comments and questions. She said coconut olive oil um, are penetrating, and she says that she's heard the castor oil as well, but it's thicker. I I can't wait until the doctor answers my questions. I love the hair doctor; she's the best. Oh, you know I love you guys back. You know I do because she had. She can shed light on this question. I will definitely do my best today. Ah, oh, I am so excited about the next book. Yes, me too. I'm so excited because there's a lot in it about aging of the hair and how our hair goes through this whole aging process. And it's not just because we're getting older. It's because I have beautiful young hair. Well, I'm kind of young too, but <laughs> just had a birthday. <laughs> but I want my hair to be young as long as it's on my head. See, my fro has some body today. Did you see that? Okay. All right. Or oh, I got to remember, I got to speak up because I have not been loud enough uh, for some. Okay. The sound get you, sound did get better as the video progressed. Thanks. And I'm so sorry about the person not hearing me. So I'm going to almost yell because... I really think that the like with my computer, my my laptop, which I'm on now, is okay. But this desktop, I can't really hear that well unless I put a headset on, like you know, a headset, and and that helps a whole lot. So tr really try that because I don't know, it may be me speaking too low. Uh, the volume, I'm sure it's up as loud as it could go. I just want to make sure that, let's make sure, yeah, I'm up as high as I can put it, and so, um, I'm going to try to yell a little bit. i got to remember. Okay. Now, it says, um, here, so let's kind of talk about the oils for just a second. And if we run into another oil question, then we will, um, we'll try to, I'm going to try to make sure that I adjust things here. All right. This is the one I want to say about oils today. Make sure that you remember one, and we've talked about this so much, I know you know it, that oils will lubricate the hair shaft, so it's going to give it some shine. You always want to think about why am I using a product? Because if you don't know why, maybe you shouldn't be using it. Maybe you don't need it. Oils are support products. That's another thing you remember. I don't, I use it to support whatever. If whether it's my care, how my hair is cared for, the shine, the appearance, is supporting my shaft. 
It's not necessarily conditioning my chef, but it's giving support to the care program and the style program. In other words, how healthy my hair is or how my hair looks. That's what oil does. The way it supports our care program, it covers the hair shaft, the cuticle, because oils are, tend to be a little bit more dense and you want them to be than your hemetrin, so your hydrating products. And so what happens, it causes the cuticle to lie, lie flat and it will seal in moisture. So it supports how, your hair, how healthy your hair is. It helps that. It supports your style program of factor because oils give your hair shine. So it gives you a nice shine. And as your hair gets healthier, you'll need less oil to support your style because the lights, your cuticle is healthy, so you have that nice shine reflecting. I know my fro is a little, what the kids say, wop. This side seems like it's a little shorter. My hair fancy, but I've got this little curl going on here. So anyway, I'm just going to leave it because it's, it's close to perfect. I'm just going to have to say that. This side is a little bit, mm, but it's, you know, okay. Anyway, so yeah, it gives you that lubrication. So see, it, you're either going to seal in moisture or you're going to have that lubrication for shine. All right. Now, with that being said, how do you decide on the correct oil, which is what you guys want to know. I'm going to give you a little test because there's so many oils out there, some wonderful oils. Someone spoke about argon. Um, one of my favorite is a hoba, and a hoba is light. It is like skin oil. It you have to put a hoba on every day because it dissipates really easy, and it really becomes a part of the shaft. But it's a good oil as well. I use a combination in my oils, a uh, hoba, and I use a little bit of mink, and I like that. But and I haven't found any problems with it, so I, I do use the mink. And I use some other vegetable oils, and, and then I use some, but I try to use really, really, really fine oils, but then you can process without putting chemicals to process. You can just make sure that the way it's blended, in other words, that the, it, the oil will become a lot friendlier and won't cause any problems. So I'm going to just kind of tell you how you, I'll use my oil sheen in a jar, and I'm going to tell you just how you so much light here you can barely see it how to the best way to know whether the oil is going to do those two things we want it to do whether it's going to seal in moisture you want it dense enough to seal in moisture and then you want it light enough so it just lubricates and offers shine but you want it to be able to rinse clean from the hair okay so we're going to take a small amount of our oil you put it on the back of your hand like that and you make sure now when you do this with your oil if it's sticky, then it's a problem. This one is not sticky. Also, then you want to take it and you want to rub in and see how it goes into the skin. When you finish, you want to see a nice shine there. You see that shine on my skin? And that's what you do. And then you fill it. If it's sticky, then it's, if it's, it's not an oil that's going to be hair friendly, nor scalp friendly, and it will clog your pores. So remember, if you're trying to choose an oil, you're going into places and you're testing or you're purchasing oils and you're testing those oils then I recommend that you first test a little bit on the, your skin hair and skin are made up of the same types of cells they're manifested differently when as we see them with the naked eye but they're made made up of protein called keratin and they're if it's skin friendly it's going to be hair friendly and scalp friendly Okay, and of course, we know scalp is skin. So stop driving yourself crazy about oils. When I do say, leave the olive oil for the salad. It's great in salad. It's great on tofu. Mm hmm. Oh, spinach. It's great on a bunch of stuff. But anyways, if you want to use it on your hair, you can. Um, it's a little dense for that, but and there's some others. Castor oil for sure is. Coconut oil is a little bit light. Grapeseed is okay. But, you know, you can just you just play with them and see. But remember, those natural oils are great. And I don't think there's a problem. I just want you to have the best that you can have for yourself. Stop stressing about which one is the best. They're all pretty good. We just need to make sure that...
that they're doing what we want our want wants to happen and for me I need the lubrication and what I believe you should look for is the lubrication nice shine and still feel the body see if you put an oil on and you can't get the body and the shine to your fro and yes our froze okay you see that, that's why this one this side is not doing well because I pick at it so much oh my goodness I think I may have it either I'm not going to touch it anymore doing this whole little show. I promise you. Okay. But anyways, um, what was I? Oh, the oil sheen in a jar. Um, I think that's my oil. But if you ha and it's just a combination. And let me tell you guys, and I said this before and you've heard me. The only reason I make product is because, well, there's several reasons now. Now that I'm watching this billion dollar industry, I'm thinking, wait a minute, Lisa. You need to get involved because people are spending money on hair products, and you know that you you can make a product that will do really well, um, and for the hair or just feed or give the hair what it needs. So you better get involved. And so I really did decide to do that. But one of the reasons is because I wanted to make sure that I was able to give you a product give you something like when you ask me and you say well you know I don't want to search because there are a lot of women out there that are doing some wonderful things and they're I say in their kitchen with products and they've chosen to make their own and that's their choice they can do that but then there's some people that say I just want to pick up a product off the shelf or go on the internet and find it what's the best and that's one of the reasons why I have my product okay something I look you see me keep looking up Okay, um, I had some um, flax, grind flax, and some um, some kashi cereal, and some soy milk this morning. And I think some of the flax got on my lip. Okay. Alright, not that you wanted to know all that. Okay, so let's see. Okay, now, so that's with oils. So let me know what you're thinking about that. Try my oil. Tell me what you think. And remember now, these are support products. This is densely packed. A uh, oil, a jar of oil can last you six months, even a year. And the great thing about, and I'm feel like I feel like a commercial, but you want a product, and I won't say my brother, but you want a product that has a great shelf life. So if you can keep the oil packed densely like this, where when you put it on, it doesn't fall out. This is specially packed, and there are people, manufacturers that are doing this kind of stuff. They have the technology to do it. So don't worry. Don't be so worried about what's going on with that product. So you can try and and see what you like, think. But it, what reason I mentioned oh the densely packed is because you only need a small amount. You want it because if you if you do too much and like my shine is still here. If you do too much, you're gonna feel like oh it's heavy, it's weighing it down. But remember, oils rest on the cuticle layer, and the cuticle layer is the style layer. And if you your cuticle is um, damaged in any way, so if you have if you have fine hair, or it, it, even if it's not damaged, if you put too much, then the cuticle layer will begin to collapse a little bit, and then you'll end up with a problem with the oils, um, you know, feeling heavy. So remember that. So we're gonna yeah, oils are that's a good topic. Absolutely love them. I don't use them as much because my hair has a natural shine. Matter of fact, last night, what I what did I twist in? I twist in my leave-in conditioner. So I didn't even put any oils on today. Let's see my shine. Mm -hmm. Gotta do the shake, shake. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. I just love the fact that our hair is fine. <sighs> okay. Let's go to the next. This is. Um, the video sounds better. Oh, I gotta keep remembering to keep my voice up. It says, Dr. Agri, do you think 4C long hair is the, ooh, no you didn't say that N word. I'm just gonna replace it. Replace kinky. It's the kinkiest hair. The reason why I don't like to use the N word um, is because I just, I'm, I'm a little old school, and I remember growing up. Whenever someone said your hair was the N word, is because 
whenever he said it, they were not saying it in a nice way. They were saying as if something was wrong. So it was a negative. Uh, so I have not let go of that yet. Um, well, maybe I need therapy. No, no, I don't. But I just want us to look at our hair as spiral, as kinky. And some people may think kinky is negative. But anyways, let's get to the question. Do you think 4B long hair is the kinkiest hair? Is it better off stretched out? I see a lot of long 4B C girls, and most keep it stretched out using bands or blow dryers or roller sets. They don't let their hair shrink up or wear shrunken styles much. Still waiting on roller set video. I know we've definitely got to do that roller set video. Um, I I I just gotta ooh I gotta write that somewhere. Well, the reason is because I really want to <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna have to do that video at some point um, let's just send me a bunch of the emails y'all and re keep requesting that because I, I just don't know it's so much to do and if we get into this next book but I really do believe we need to do that real estate video okay thanks um, that would be so much fun it really would be alright let's get to the question and just get an answer here stretching your hair out is up to you I'm going to tell you the best way to do it. You do not want blow drying to stretch your hair out because that's going to be a little harsh on the shaft. Wearing the shrunken look or stretching the hair out is preference. Uh, some people feel they can't manage their hair once they do the shampoo and go. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. I think it's easy. I think it's like zero almost maintenance. And you know, I never say zero maintenance, but you're basically shampooing and putting leave your products in and going. Putting a headband on, and like I like headbands. I love my headbands. And put them on and go. Um, should you, they don't let their hair shrink more, I'm still waiting for videos. Um, well, so I guess you're just kind of commenting on this. The best way, if you, I'm going to say the what I think the best way to stretch your hair is to apply your products. From starting on the ends because even distribution and product placement is crucial and it's really important when you're trying to stretch your hair out so you want to start on the ends then you want to work your way down to the open the hair and then get the product to the scalp and then meet in the middle scalp hair and ends ear to ear front to back so you're going to go all the way over from this side until you make your way all the way over to that side and when you do then you're ready to smooth with your hands your hair flat fingers and thumb fingers and thumb working through your hair taking a comb and if you have short hair you want a small tooth if you have long hair you want a large tooth and you want to rake now I'm not talking about with your comb sitting straight up and combing through uh uh I'm talking about laying the comb on your head, almost like it's flat, but this direction where the teeth barely touching inside, and rake one, two, three, and four, and then smooth down. Get a scarf, tie it down, something with a shiny fabric, tie it down, and then sit on the dryer, uh, depending on the length of the hair, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, then sleep on it. Once you get up, take a little bit of your oil, rub it through your hair. I said products, but I didn't even say what type. Well, I would recommend that this is what I would do within my line. Leave-in conditioner, we have our hair vitamins. Then I would recommend hydration if you have extremely dry hair, because it's going to make it soft so the hair will be a lot more flexible and will move for you and will stretch. So hydration is really important. It's on my website. And then I will recommend a, a, a little bit more dense moisture, uh, like a Moisture Plus or, or naturally textured, and then I smooth it flat. You can oil your scalp with oil sheen and jar if you have dry scalp, and then I would then I would do the things that I mentioned. And then in the morning, when you get up, I would take a small amount of my oil, put it on my hand, and lubricate. At that point, you can take the hair and stretch it out depending on the length to have a curly bob and uh, or you can take the hair and I'm gonna have to do this so you can see what it looks like and then or you can just lift it up and have a fro that just kind of sticks out 
with individual curls. Okay, I'm going to make a list of things that I should do because now I'm throwing a list here. So I'm going to make a list. Okay, my curly fro, because I've been promising shame on me. Let's see if you are. Curly fro. That's going to be style. I think you guys like that interaction with the style. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. A, bit, a little bit of that. And then I'm, and I'm going to try to do it within our little few weeks that we're doing our Q&As before we start on the book. And I'm going to give a date. Let's do a date on when we're going to start our book. Okay, curly fro, and then I'm going to do the um, mold in place, stretched out style, because, and, I, and I'm going to see what other styles I can think of, because what I want to do is give you a safe way and quick. For me, always has to be quick, 12 to 14 hours a day working, shame on me, but I don't have time to be um, fussing, and that's what ends up happening, you're kind of fussing with your hair. I just want to love my hair into a style and just let it be and just be gorgeous. Okay? <laughs> you know? And so I'm just going to try to help you in that area. A lot of you have it down because I had someone, oh my goodness, I did have some of you call for phone appointments. And I, it was so wonderful to hear your, your voice. That was so cool. But you can call my institute at 901 380 4445 and ask for a phone appointment if you want voice to voice chatting. I'm so excited about that. I don't get to do as many and I usually kind of have a wait list for those. So if you have to wait a couple of weeks, that's okay. We see each other every week anyway. So just wait a couple of weeks a month till you can get on my book. But sometimes, just sometimes, you call right at the right time and then you have some times. And I usually do those on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the middle of the day. Because everything about what I do is scheduled. If I didn't schedule this vlog, it wouldn't happen. So I have to because I have so much going on. Anyways, with that being said, okay, a date for the book. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to help you guys with those styles. Now, it says, this person said, I'm not having any problems hearing you. Great. It says, I really struggle to hear. Oh, and she's, so I'm speaking lighter. I'm sorry. It said, you are right. God makes no mistakes. God doesn't. God's awesome, guys. Awesome. Praise Holy name, Lord. I mean, really. I just, God's awesome. That's why we have you. Thank you uh, for your videos. My hair is really growing. Yay! And really, you're obtaining length, Miss Hightower. That's what's happening. That hair was already growing, I bet you. You're just obtaining length because you are in charge and you're taking care of your hair. And I'm so incredibly proud of you. Okay? And all of you guys, thank you so much for your questions. But um, I think we're going to title this one Oils and talk about the oils. Um, let's get some dates here. Let's get on the calendar. Um, let's and see if we can talk about when we're going to start the book. The book. Our new book. Mm, let's see. What dates do we have here? Um, why don't you guys... Well, I've got one, two, three... Let's do. Let's finish August up. Let's keep August because we have a. We have at least one, two, three, four, four more. Yeah. Let's finish August. Let's say August, September, the sixth. We'll start the book. How about that? Okay. September. I'm gonna tape it to my computer. or put it on my calendar. The. But I'm also taping to my computer <laughs> uh, to make sure that I remember September 6th start new book so get ready go out and get your book every woman's guide to beautiful hair at any age so that we can start our book okay all right together every woman's guide at any age now I think we're all done here today but if the questions you know what let's redo a reach back we got a time for maybe one more question here beauty salon visits I think I had some questions there I may have answered all of those let's re reach back a little more and I just love you guys too okay I know that is just so sweet of y'all to just love me this way and just support me and I just really 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 appreciate it I really appreciate it and you keep me going 
and I know it's something to look at these videos every week, busy people, but I just appreciate you guys really, really doing that, and just giving me just one word, one or two words, really helps me a lot. Let's look at the one about the shampoos, because we got a lot of you responding to that. Um, let's see. People have, let's look at this in this comment. She says, this one says, people have, and it may be, okay. People have been cleansing the hair with herbs and clays for thousands of years. Okay, that's, that's something I think we already addressed. I really respect you as a professional and love your advice. Okay. I have a concern about co-washing. I have been co-washing my hair three times a week for the past six months and then a monthly detox. I have seen the most, yeah, I think we addressed that one. Um, let's see. And, you know, guys, listen to me. I need you to be okay with what we're doing here. What are we doing? Why am I on the air? I am adding to your knowledge bank. It's clear and simple. There's what I, I like to call a sifting. A sifting. Also, I need to give you guys when I, I, I And as we run out of time, I ha I call it a sifting of knowledge. You sift through whatever you want, you keep, whatever you don't, you just let it go. Let's not get angry, let's not say, well, you know, you don't know. It, this is not about me. This is about my knowledge and sharing my knowledge. That's what it's about. So with that, I want to say I love you. To God be the glory in Jesus, you know who I serve. And I'm going to see you right here next week on Ask the Hair Doctor. The other, I am working on a tour date, or tour dates, and tour cities. So, yeah, 2013, I'm coming your way. So just get ready, get ready. And just, you know, keep commenting. If you have a women's group within your city, and you want to bring me in or have me come in. And when I say that, I don't mean that you have to go through any great expense to bring me in. I just need the group. I need that. I need the group there. Because when I come, I want to see some folks. And so I want to be able to have people to speak to. So rally them uh, there. I want to do something with natural hair. I'm, you know, I, I'm a trichologist. I will speak on relaxed hair. I really will. But I want to I wanna get right in this movement, this almost revolution. I'm too excited about it. It's been fierce, and it was small, but it is, it is getting huge, and I'm uber excited about it. So I'm going to do a lot with natural hair, and a tour may just involve that. So thank you so much. I love you. Hugs and kisses. To God be the glory in Jesus, and I'll see you night week right here on Ask the Hair Doctor. Keep those questions coming, okay guys? Love you much. Mwah.